On this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, we review Maker's 46 Cask Strength. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host, Lance. Today, we are reviewing Maker's 46 Cash Strength. If you're new to the Whiskey Tornado, let me quickly explain our scoring system. We have seven categories. We rank 0 to 1, 0.5 being average. Two of those categories are handicapped. Those categories are availability and appearance. Then we move on to the nose, palate, finish, body, and value. Any score of three or better means it is bar worthy. Feel safe buying that bourbon. Any score four or better is bunker sum, just in case the bourbon you love is no longer made. Before we get into today's review, just keep in mind, this is just my opinion. These are subjective opinions. Even if I don't like a bourbon or if I like it, you should still try it for yourself. Don't take this review too seriously. I just love to deep dive into these bourbons um, and really dissect them. All right. With all that being said, let's get into the appearance of Maker's 46 Cash Strength. Right, so what do you guys think? What do you think of the appearance of Makers 46? I actually like it. I wasn't a big fan of the regular Makers Makers bottles, but these uh, these special limited edition Makers 46 uh, they scream premium to me. I mean, the wax is just iconic, obviously, uh, but I like these newer bottles. Um, they just they they just look premium, and and I enjoy that. So I'm gonna give the appearance of Makers 46 Cash Strength a 0.7. As far as availability goes, I have been looking for this bottle for a year and I finally came across it. Um, and they're, not, they're starting to pop up in our area everywhere, at least at this moment. So it's a little less than average. We're gonna give it a 0.3. All right, let's get on to what's actually in the bottle. Let's move on to the nose. Mm. The first note I get on the nose is like a little bit of musty wood. There's also some like um, some dusty sweetness, like like marshmallow sweetness there. Makers 46 and, and all these like stave selection makers, I always get that like um, almost like a mildewy dustiness. And I'm not it's got to be from the staves. Um, and usually I'm not a fan of that. But on this, this is really nice. It's not too strong, but there is that like little bit of like musty oak. Uh, beautiful caramel note there. Definitely uh, vanilla, like strong vanilla. And then that like powdered sugar or marshmallow sweetness to it. Really nice. Um, better than average on the nose. We're going to give it a 0. 0.6. All right, moving on to the palate, guys. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, that, that musty note. That musty oak note I was getting on the nose is not transferring to the palate, which is fantastic. Um, the first note I got there, super rich caramel, which I absolutely love. Let me go in for another taste here. Mm, there's a beautiful cherry note there. Really nice. And then beautiful dark chocolate. That's fantastic. That is really, really nice. We're gonna go into the finish, but right now I'm getting the finish, which is long and nice and stands out. And it's making me not wanna go in for another sip, which is what we want. Oh man, this is really good. Um, on the palette, we are gonna give it a 0 0.8. It is really fantastic. One of the better palettes that I've had. And I'm typically not a Maker's Mark fan, um, it's okay. It's just that never really blows my socks off. When you get to the um, stave selection limited edition ones, 
Um, number one, the names are just confusing. I hate that, but um, I get too much musty oak on a lot of those, and I am just not getting that on this Maker's 46 cast strength. It is by far the best Maker's Mark uh, pick, or Maker's Mark offering that I've had. Hmm, can't get enough of that. Just beautiful. That's just well done, beautifully balanced. Moving on to the finish, it's long. It's not too spicy, but I'm getting lots of like cinnamon red hots on the finish, which is really nice. The finish is just, it's it's really nice, way better than average on the finish. I'm gonna give the finish a 0.8 as well. Moving on to the body, uh, the body on this, beautiful texture. Really creamy. You get like this burst of flavor over the entire palette, mid, front, back, all over. Really nice. We're going to give the body a 0.7. All right, moving on to value. Value is all over the place. Um, these just started popping up in our area, and I've seen them anywhere from 55 at Costco to 75 at some of the smaller boutique stores like Art Mart. So that's a big range in price difference, $20 difference. Um, but what's in the bottle is very good. It's just, it's a non-age stated bourbon. You know, Maker's Mark doesn't like to age their stuff very long. Um, those Putting those staves in there does help give it some uh, age characteristics, even if it's not older. So, but what's in the bottle is fantastic. So, you know, if I was paying 55, the value on this is probably a 0 0.7, 0 0.8. If I'm paying 75, it's more, you know, like a 0.5. Um, but still, I wouldn't be upset with any of those prices just because this is by far the best makers that I've had. It's fantastic stuff. Um, but I'm going to give it a 0.6. I'm going to give it a little bit better than average because of what's in the bottle. All right, guys, that brings the total score for Maker's Mark 46 cash strength to a 4.0, putting it right on the line of bunker worthy. Um, and I can't believe I'm saying this about a Maker's Mark product, but it is bunker worthy. I love this stuff. Um, it's a limited edition. This is 110.3 proof. Um, the, the Everything from the flavors to the nose to the texture of the body. I just love it. And um, I would put some of these away. You know, it's makers, so they're huge producers. You're probably going to be able to find this every year from time to time. Um, but man, just in case you can't, I would want to put some of these away. I absolutely love it. Um, what a great bottle. This is like, this is crushable stuff that I could drink every night and be happy. And if you can find this for $55, I would buy a bunch of them. It's really, really good. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Until next time, cheers.